Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today I will show you how you can import affiliate product from eBay to your store in WordPress. So to do this you will need to have WooCommerce plugin already installed and then you need to install our plugin. You go to plugins, you click on add new plugin, you go and search for Shark Dropship and then you have the plugin here on the right side, Shark Dropship and affiliate for Aliexpress, eBay, Amazon and Etsy. You click install product and you activate. Once the plugin activated, you will see on the left side a new entry with the icon of our plugin. So the plugin is installed, you click on the plugin and you arrive to this page. So this is some old product, I will remove them start from the beginning and this is the page where you arrive when you open the plugin so you can open click on eBay import and this will bring you to this page so I will explain you what this page will be used for so this page consists of two big sections so the first section is this one here which allow to import product by copying the URL from eBay website to here and the second part is to import the product by searching using keywords so these are two separate parts and you will start with this one here so you can choose actually the eBay domain that you want to use so on our we will be using eBay France but if you are for example in Australia you can use eBay Australia we go back to eBay and we will try to import some products from eBay so first thing to explain is that eBay will have two type of products the first type is what we call a simple product and the second type is what we call a variable product. I will show you. So when you search for product here, we can have product. For example, let's open this one. We see here that it has only one quantity. There is no variation, means there is no other uh, other possibility to, to choose, for example, another color for the shoes. So this is called a simple product. Okay. Right now, let's try to check a variable product maybe I will go to search for something else iPhone and I don't see actually any variable products here in eBay France maybe there is no enough I go maybe to uh, Samsung for example and pick I think all of these are simple products Okay, we will start with simple products and then we will pick the variable product. So the simple product, we copy the URL, we go back to the plugin, we paste the URL here and you click on import. So you will get this model displayed on your screen. So this model is where we can do all customization for all products. So because this video is for affiliate product, we will not be talking about dropshipping product, but to give you the difference between the two. So the affiliate product is a business that means the following you import a product to your website okay then if the user want to buy this product and click on the buy button you will be redirected to eBay so on the redirection URL you will have your campaign ID so if the user purchases that product you'll get a commission from eBay and to use affiliate uh, program from eBay you can subscribe to this eBay partner network so the eBay partner network is the affiliate program for eBay maybe there are other program for uh, affiliate but this one is the main one offered by eBay you can subscribe to this website I, I can create another video to show you how you can you can do this so coming back to the product to the import model so here we will choose an affiliate product the dropshipping product is a bit different it means that the the customer will purchase, will purchase the product on your website so you will receive the money and then it is up to you to go to eBay and buy the product you put the shipping address as your client shipping address and the billing address as your your own address we don't do any other placement our plugin will not do this so you need to do this manually so the today video will talk about affiliate products so the first thing to mention here is the product URL so the product URL you will need here your affiliate product URL. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to go to your affiliate program. You copy this URL. You copy it from here. 
content you choose your campaign and you click on generate link and you will have your you copy the link and you will have your affiliate link you can also do it manually actually so once you have the campaign id your campaign id from here you just i will copy this file here and i will go to this page and you see that there is a campaign id and this is the most important part so actually instead of using the website to generate the link you can maybe just go at the end of the link here and then paste this part here so campaign id equal and you paste your campaign id and then you copy this and you put it here then you have the regular price the sale price you can change them for example if you want you can change the title you can the sku so this is a unique identifier you should not change it because otherwise you will have problem when you update the product the short description is something that will be displayed on the product page you can write anything you want i will just copy the value many times then you can choose this option to publish directly the product when you don't check it the product will be set as draft i want also to set the product as featured product i will show you later what is the difference and then there are two types of categories the one below is the categories that you have on your shop already so this is are the categories that you have on your wordpress and this is are the categories that are coming from ebay so here you can choose some categories from here it will go and verify if the category that the category does not exist it will create it if it exists it will select it then i will change the tab you will have the description so here we can modify things you can include images for example here we have the gallery we can include images from the gallery to this page here maybe not of the all the images are useful so i will maybe remove remove the rest and oh, I will move this one, this one as well, this one, and I will copy, just keep maybe one image on the description. Images on the description are always good. So my description will be something like this. I will add some space. I will have three images on the description. I can change the title, you know, I can do, like it's editors, like it's, WordPress, it's like uh, Microsoft Office, so you can change many things. You can also include the specification. So the specification is what we have here the value the key and the value we can include them and you will go them at the end they are not styled so you need maybe to style yourself you know okay just for now i will not do it because we don't have a lot of time you can remove the images remove description you can go to gallery you can maybe keep uh, not many images you can keep maybe one or let's see what are the images that we did not import to description so we'll keep just two two three images then there is a variation so the difference between the simple product and the variable product that the simple product does not have variations we will see later that the variable product this will be full of data we go to specific attributes and here we can add as many as we want so shop name your shop and something else random things if you want you can remove as well the tags so the tags by default actually will be generated from the title so we will get the title we'll split it and we'll generate from each word a tag so you can keep them you can remove them if you want you can add some more title not the more uh, tags sorry and then reviews so by default we don't import reviews from the product ebay because ebay does not allow to do this but you can create your own review your the product is very good you can also use our solution iReview to import product from other sources like Amazon and AliExpress. This is perfect. And some, one more, maybe two more. And then that's all actually. So I just go back and check that the affiliate product is selected and I click on import. So this is just a warning. Is that all, not all the product detail will be imported on the free version. So the product is imported. To check the product, I open on a new tab and I will see the product here. I see the image of the product, the SKU, like the identifier on eBay, the identifier on WordPress, the ID of the product. The status is published. The supplier is eBay, because we can have also other supplier like Etsy, AliExpress, Amazon. We have the original product URL. When you click it, you will be redirected to the product page. We have edit on WordPress, so if you click this, you will open the, ed the product edit page in WordPress. You can edit things and you can publish the product again. You can preview the product. 
So the product is here, we have the description with the image that we have selected and the design, the style. So here we have the additional information, the specifications. And here we have the reviews that we have created. Here we have the title, we have three reviews, we have the uh, price, we have the short description, we have the by product. So if I click the by product for affiliate product, this will bring me to the product URL. If I see the URL, I will see my campaign ID at the end. So if the user will purchase the product, I will get my commission. And you can see your commission on your eBay partner here. So you see, for example, this one, there is a sale on February. I will go come back here and as you can see, you can also update the product. So the update extended product actually will tell you if the product is still available or no, because it's of type external, you can see the type here. Now, I will search for a variable product. Maybe I will pick another domain, eBay Australia. And I will pick, for example, Samsung. Okay, it seems maybe, I don't know why today I can find variable product. I, I think this one is variable product. So when you see many, many images with different images. Okay, exactly. So you see here, we have variable product, so we can choose many options from the product. So we copy the URL, we go back to our website, we close this one here, we change to Australia and we click here and you click on import. And the difference is that on variable product, you see we have product customization, but product is variable. The rest of the thing is very similar. But when you import, you import product, this is not mandatory actually, but you will import product from variation directly. So its variation will be displayed in one line here, as you can see. So its variation, for example, we have the storage capacity and the color. Unfortunately here, this product does not have images for variations. So Note that you can import each variation as a separate product. This is what we will do. So we will copy the product URL. We will generate our affiliate ID. And from here, I generate. Did I generate properly? Let's check if this generates prop. Yes, exactly. So I copy this one here. I come back to my import, and then I open advanced setting, and I paste the URL here. So each product will have the same URL, and I will start importing. I will select the gallery tab, actually image, for this, and I will select because if there were some images, I can select the variation image, and each product will have its specific image, you know, with a specific color. So I will import maybe two products, maybe three products. If there are many images, maybe this will take maybe some longer time. And we will wait. Once the import is successful, we can go back to eBay, uh, to our website, sorry. And we see that this product has been imported successfully. They are imported as draft, actually, and the supplier is eBay. You can change this, actually, from the same options here. So you can choose some categories. You can publish the product. You add some description. You modify the description here, and then come again here and import maybe the last variation here. Okay, the product is imported. I refresh my page, and I will see the fourth product. So imagine you have 100 variation. It's really easy to import them. Very easy, just in a couple of minutes. 100 product, and this is our ready to sell product with the affiliate link and everything already set up. So you click here, we have the product URL, you are redirected to the page, the user will select the option and you'll buy and you'll get your commission. So this is was the first part of the video. Right now I will go back and try to show you how you can import but using the search keyword. So I will scroll here and I will choose for example uh, Apple and I will search products. I also have a very interesting option, you can s search by store name. So you can, for example, copy the store name from here or the seller name, so it's the same thing. You paste it and you search. And then you get all the items from that specific seller. You know, so you just pick a random product, for example, if you want to import this one. You click on import and it's the same thing. This is a variable product, you got the variation, 
you pick the URL. So imagine that imagine that we have this URL, like we pick just a random URL because it's not copied. We generate, we add the campaign ID at the end. Comp ID, and then you put your comp ID here. So random one uh, depends which one you have, and then paste it here, and then you can start importing products. Okay, you cannot insert products because of missing and defined. Okay, but some products actually they don't define the as in, and the as in is mandatory actually to give a unique identifier for this variation. So you can create your arm for example, but it should be unique. For example, one, two, three, you put your shop name and something like a. And then this one is important and it will work. Many seller does not actually use the as in and this is really not very good because you will not be able to uh, connect this variation to eBay variation and you will not be able to update it. So I go back here and I refresh the page and they see the product that is imported here. So I can preview the product. The product is here. And this has happened because I import by selecting the version image. I can import by selecting the gallery image. Actually, the image is there, but it, it's not displayed. So as you can see here, we have the image from the variations. And if I change the option to be uh, to take the image from a gallery, it will import more more images. So I need to give it just a random value and import. And this will import our product. And if I refresh the page. You will see it here. You see the SKU of the variation and all the details. And if, pre if I preview, I got the price, I got all the stuff, and they click by product, I will be redirected here. And they select the, the options. So, on this video, I, sh I showed you how you can use our plugin to import affiliate products from eBay. In the next video, I will show you how you can import product but using the Chrome extension. So, instead of going and copying the value from here to the plugin, you can use our Chrome extension. The Chrome extension is actually belong to the premium plan, so you need to buy a license. The license is one-time payment for now, and it's discounted. The price is really very good. So if you buy the license, you can import directly from eBay. So if you click here, you just select. You will have the same model on the plugin. You select the variations, and you can import product. So. The only thing missing and we are working on is that for now you are not able to import specific variation for product, but you can still import the product as affiliate product. Soon we will have we will add the buttons here to import this product as affiliate products. I will show you on the next video how this works. Thank you for watching this video and see you on the next video.